closed in the 1960s, part of it, the beaching era. Right. It's quite convenient this because we've got a scope, we've got a train coming the other way. Uh -huh. you know, and on the high girders, you can't have two trains passing at the same time. Yeah. So it's given us a chance to go even slower just for your footage. So your train was coming in, in from the other side. I was a bit confused as we assumed yeah. it was coming in from Dundee initially, but that no, was just coming way. that way. Right. So there's going to be another train coming this right towards us? Yeah, right towards us. Which there was in the original footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Signal now. It's all been arranged by myself. You know. <laughs> well. you, you want to focus in, that's the date of the reopening of the new bridge oh. in 1887. Jeez. That footage was 1898, so it must be around about the 10th anniversary. Yeah. So I see you didn't arrange for any workers to be loitering on the track. Well, that, that's been years in the making, that. <laughs> There's been a man who's had, he's had the best job in Scotland. seals here, you know, it's, it's a high tide at the minute, but there's quite a lot of sand banks along here, and you get the seals just doing what seals do, and <laughs> <laughs> around all day. <clears throat> Even now, with, I've been coming up here since the 90s, you know, it's hard to envisage just where these depots fitted into the current sort of infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. Because that was a station on your footage, that's Esplanade. But basically that swathe down there to the modern buildings was all Dundee Depot, Caledonian, and this side was North British. 